All that moisture pushes off to the east. This is the day before Thanksgiving. Here comes all this cold air continuing to rush in. And we have some more moisture funneling into the northwest. It's a mess up in New England. At least that's what the Euro sees the day before Thanksgiving. So what's it look like on Thanksgiving? Here's the latest Euro. Maybe a little bit of snow funneling into the Great Lakes region, into New England. Probably some good lake effect snow from all of this cold air moving over the warmer Great Lakes. We also have this cold air continuing to buckle into the plains and out east with a big storm system now beginning to move into the northwest. This is Thanksgiving evening. We push into the day out after Thanksgiving and the Euro says, hey, we have a big snowstorm moving through the Northern Rockies, Northern Plains, upper Midwest that's headed right through the Great Lakes region and likely into New England. Again, the mountains up here in New England are gonna do pretty good early season. Now we're getting a little bit far. This is November 30th, but our polar jet is continuing to buckle. We've got a lot of moisture down here in the South, another storm system moving into the Rockies. And that storm system moving into the Rockies is gonna wanna put more snow in the upper Midwest, in the Great Lakes region, and likely in New England. Again, these Northern tier states in the Plains and out East are really seeing a lot of snowfall if these models are correct here over the next 200, 250 hours. Although again, we'll likely see some adjustments. 